I had the tickets you had. How old? Five. He's like a puppy. He's like a puppy. You just the puppy puppy. I can tell you love this dog. <laughs> what a love. What a love. Well, dogs also know good people. That's where I go. It is so nice. It's like... Guys, and DDPA I ran into this cool van build here. It's not a build it yourself. You probably shouldn't do that. You should probably hire somebody to do it so that way you can go to uh, campgrounds. So I figured we'd get a quick tour since all of you are interested in. Homes on wheels. So this is Irvin's van from Canada. This was built by Road Trek. This is built by Road Trek. I don't know if you can hear him, but we're staying off camera. No problems with that. Look at this. It's microwave furnace. Yeah, he's got the microwave. He's got all his controls right there. Toilet. No medic up there. Toilets in the back. No, the toilet's in the back. We won't Full. go all the way back because he's got his stuff he traveled. Full wet bath. Oh, it's a wet bath? Yep. Very cool. You can take a shower room. here. Um, it's got a lithium power cell that'll power it so you can run off grid. Solar panel on the roof. It's got his entertainment so he can watch YouTube. Smart TV. <laughs> Very cool setup. It's got his windows right here. Got seating. And, I'm, and it gets 20 miles to the gallon. And 20 miles to the gallon, which is actually really good. Got the fridge down here, sink. Still kind of cramp, Ram Pro Master. Cockpit storage area up there. That's why I would get a van like this because you get this extra storage up top. It's got the lights up here, which I always like that. If I'm going to build my van, that's what it's going to be. Very cool, dude. So, like I showed you, that he does have an awning up top. Yep. So, you know, you park your van wherever you're parking it. You got the awning and gives you outdoor space. Because the only time you really want to be in this 24 hours a day is if the weather's nasty. So, very cool. Thank you so much for yeah, allowing no us a quick tour. Anytime. Okay, so... I was at an event and I forgot my SIM card. I forgot to put it back in my GoPro. And really didn't take that much footage. So I decided to come back to the woods one more time. And as you can see, they've really grown up quite a bit. So pretty sure this will be the last time. But at the event, I talked to Andy Savage, who many of you know write the books on the machines. I do have the Equinox book written by him, but I talked to him about the spot that I'm taking you today to. And <clears throat> this is what he suggested. I have the six inch coil on my Knox. I'm going to put the settings he told me and the spot with the most amount of iron actually doesn't have that much undergrowth usually. Uh, I've sprayed everything with Promethean. I also have some DEET. I'll spray on myself when I get there. And it's been a little while. 
looking to see if I could find and eke out one more little piece of history before I have to give this up for the summer. And I do love the woods. I'll still hike here. It's a little hard to dig here. And so this is part two because I talked to Andy Savage at the event. So here we go. We're going to walk up that trail there for a little ways and see if we find anything cool. If not, then you're just going to see me dig a whole lot of iron. Hope you don't mind. See you on the first hole. Apparently they made a trail, a new trail right there, right alongside my little spot here. Not happy about that, but what are you going to do? Alright, try that six inch coil right around in this area. See if we find something. Go hang up the bag. Don't need to wear it. See you in a bit. Alright, the first signal I picked up was a solid eight, <laughs> so I didn't show you. I'm coming up. Just a piece of buckshot in the sun so you can see the buckshot there it is buckshot whoa buckshot but it was a first click signal so let's dig some more okay this wasn't a very clean signal it's most likely iron but it had a tweak and it's supposed to be in this clump So I figured we can look today to see what kind of screw I got together. And it is a screw. Yay! I may have to move from this spot pretty soon because I've already had two little stingy things tell me how angry they were that I was in their area. So there's a lot of signals in this hole here. Uh, I just want to see what they are. You can see with me if you like. Do you want to? Or would you rather just skip to something good? Because I don't think this is. Oh. Well, you don't have a choice because you're watching the video. Well, you do have a choice because you're watching the video. You can stop it now, fast forward it, or you can look with me. Here we go. right in there right in there there it is at least this one's a square nail Let's see if there's anything else in there I'm pretty sure I heard more than one signal but it could just been this really chunky little square nail here alright fun times okay so I can show you it is indeed a little stingy thing. Where'd you go? All right. All right I'm so gonna head out of the again. woods. Wasn't that productive a day? Not because it's a six-inch coil, just because I didn't swing over anything good. And I want to hit one more spot before I call the day all together. So I shall be traipsing along a new path they made right over there. And I'll listen at the same time because it actually is going alongside the colonial area. I think and I figured I it out. I think I figured out what the problem was detecting today. You know what the problem was? I didn't put my banana peel in a hole. And I actually brought a banana. 
by quarter order today. And I was like, hmm, maybe if I eat a banana and put the peel in a hole, I'll find something. So I'm gonna eat this on the way to the next place. I will see you there and put the banana on the banana peel in the hole and see if that changes our luck. Maybe, who knows? See you there. So <clears throat> playing in that hole. Didn't find anything spectacular. I don't know what it is. Some kind of clasp to something. Still a little dirty. I don't think it's terribly old. But I'll put my banana peel in there. And I'll stay here another half hour, see if we get anything. Alright, I'm playing in this hole. And so far, I've got two signals. This is a. Looks like a wheat. Is it a wheat? No, it might be an Indian. Oh, I found an Indian. Yeah! But in there is another signal. Which may be a bit of work to get out. Right. It's deep. So I'm going to bring you back because there's a big root right here too. And see if we get it out. Guys, I dug it out and underneath that wheat penny was this lovely, lovely nail. So, I don't know the date on the wheat penny yet. Not yet. It's thin, so it's not a fatty. But I'll try to get the date off that later. Not wheat penny, Indian head. Did I say Indian head or did I say wheat penny? I don't know, but I'm pretty happy with that Indian head. And I'm still using that little six inch coil. And then you, <laughs> and then you swing on the way out. Get a nice signal right there and pull out. A memorial, copper memorial, but a memorial. By the way, the idea head is 1895. So this will definitely be my last hole. It's a 30 on the Knox 800, and it's in the plug. So let's see together, shall we? It's probably modern quarter because it's not very deep. And the last couple things I've dug has been pretty much trash there, there it is there it is so like I said it's a modern quarter an eagle on the back so it's not silver though too dirty and pretty ate up too <laughs> you could barely make out George <laughs>